Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What I'm going to do today is replace our zinc anoids. This is the uh, propeller shaft. It's uh, made it to a Yanmar diesel motor. As you can see when you look at the uh, anoids, they're quite pitted. And what we do every year is replace both zinc anoids. Uh, these are sacrificial. What happens with electrolysis in the water, if you don't have zinc anoids on your boat underneath of it, and this is the same with outboards and whatnot, your metal will actually get eaten away with electrolysis under the water. So what happens is instead of it eating away at your metal, it will eat away at your sacrificial zinc anoids. And they're actually easy to uh, replace. There's uh, two Allen head screws, one on each side. That way they don't uh, pop off easy. So you got to unscrew both of these and then we'll uh, clean the surface. So once you take it off, you can see how dirty the surface is underneath of the uh, zinc anoid. And again, this one's starting to uh, deteriorate quite a bit, so it's for the sake of the price of a zinc anoid, you're better off replacing them rather than uh, getting into dealing with uh, rusty and deteriorated metal underneath your boat. So before you install the new zinc anoid, you can see there's a lot of dirt built up underneath of the old zinc anoid. So just take a piece of either scouring paper or whatnot and give this a good clean. You need a clean surface for the zinc anoid to uh, butt up against. So I'm just going to give that a clean all the way around and then we'll uh, install the new one. So before I install the new one, this is the new one and you can see how uh, deteriorated the old one's starting to get. Um, this is a uh, one and one eighth. That's the uh, size of our shaft, and this is thirteen dollars and fifty cents Canadian. And our boat, we put on two of these, and people don't spend the money to do this because because of the cost. Again, it's roughly thirty dollars for two of them, and for the amount of savings you'd get by installing these, it's well worth it for each year. And another thing, you'll see the little copper ball in the center. That's going to make contact with your prop shaft. So make sure where that it, that little copper ball is touching is super clean. So the next step is to install this. And again, I'm using a one and one quarter Allen wrench or Allen key, sorry. And it's held on by these little screws. So we'll put this on. So this is just showing the uh, comparison of the new zinc anoid compared to the uh, second one. I still need to replace this one. You can see again how deteriorated that one is. So I'm going to swap out the second one. And there we go. Both uh, zinc anoids have been installed. Again, some people put one on. We always put two on. It's a little extra protection certainly doesn't uh, decrease your drag by very much. Again, this is done annually. I always do it in the springtime. And again, the biggest thing is make sure your surface is cleaned up. And don't cheap out. Make sure you replace these every year. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you may want to uh, keep an eye out. i got a quite an exciting video coming up on an old piece of equipment I'll be getting here hopefully in the next week or so. Thanks for watching and if you're not a subscriber you might want to consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Take care.